Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Now, this week we're going to be concerned with three icons that are on our toolbar. Alignment icon, our Distribute Horizontal, and our Distribute Vertical. I had some questions on those, and I realized we need to go through those and make them real clear because they are a wonderful tools to be able to use. Very helpful. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to come in here to my custom shapes and I'm going to draw us a box. And this box is just going to be a visual for us to kind of show us what's going on. Well, that box didn't want to draw today. Let's go ahead and draw us a box. Oh, that is the weirdest thing. Let's get a new piece of paper. Let's come in here to our artwork tool. Select our rectangle. It's stuck to my cursor. Oh, you know, I didn't look at my cursor before, so I obviously didn't select my rectangle or it would have been stuck to the cursor, and I would see the reason I wasn't drawing the box is because I hadn't selected the rectangle tool. Now, I'm going to change the color of this. I just want it to be a visual for us, just a border. Now I'm going to come up to our symbols and left mouse click on symbol and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to pick this, um, there's a little bow in here that I want to pick, right here, this bow. Okay, now I've selected the bow and when you select a symbol by simply holding down your left mouse key and dragging, you can create your symbol, you can rotate them, you can make them whatever size you want. Let's make this one a little smaller. Let's make this one a little larger. And let's make another one right here. Now what I've done is I've pretty much had the end of the bow touch this border and the point close to this border. And the reason I've done this, let me go ahead and make this real exact. I want it to kind of kiss that bow the point of the arrow and I want this to kiss the feathers. The reason is is because I've got this as a visual for you. Now we have a tool called distribute horizontally. Now it does not matter how close these are, how far these are from one another. When I come up here and I select, I'm going to select all of these guys, so let's collapse this, and I'm going to select everything on here that I want to distribute horizontally. Now by coming up here to my distribute horizontally tool I'm going to left mouse click and if you notice it spaced them exactly. Now it didn't have anything to do with this box I want to make that real clear. I wanted the box to be a visual. Where it distributes from is the start of your first design to the end of your last and within that spacing it is going to distribute them equally apart. This is really a helpful tool. Let's say you were doing a bunch of flowers and you wanted them all the certain distance apart. You could do that. You wanted to line up buttonholes. You wanted, you know, there's a lot of things you might want to line up exactly. This is how you would do it. And what it would do is by the amount of space. Let's take, let's just delete this one. Now let's come in here again going to collapse all this. Let's collapse. I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to tell it distribute. You notice it put the same amount of distance between each one. So that is distribute horizontally. Now if I'm going to distribute vertically, again it's going to go from, I'm going to take one of these, I'm going to grab one because they're pretty much in a pretty good row here and I'm going to grab this guy and so now within the height and depth. So from the top to the bottom, when I go to distribute, when I select all of these, again we want to select all of them, now I'm going to distribute vertically. So now it didn't change where they were, but now there's the same exact space in between this one, this one, this one, this one. It, it went ahead and distributed them vertically. So one, if you look, here's 
a space, here's a space, here's a space, here's a space. Now vertically, they have been given the same amount of distance. So again, distribute horizontally, distribute vertically. Now let's come and let's look at our alignment tools. Now here we have, and if you notice, the pictures are really nice. This is align left, all objects. So it's going to align them all as far left as the farthest object was left. It's going to align them all to that space. Now let's align all to the right. So now you see as this was the farthest one out, so it's aligned them all to that distance out. So they're all aligned to the right. Left was a little more dramatic because they all ran to this edge. But you'll notice these two backed off and moved backwards to match all of this on a line right. Now again, we can align top, align them all. So they've all aligned to the top. We can align them all to the bottom. Now I'm going to go ahead, because we've got them all bunched up here, now to align to the top of the tallest one and to the bottom of the lowest one. So let's go ahead again and distribute these horizontally. Now I've got two, I'm going to let go and I'm going to grab me one, move him kind of out. Let's get me another one, move him out. You get me another one, move him out. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we are going to move this guy all the way to the edge. So now I can grab them all again, or grab all of them, and I'm going to align them horizontally so they're nice and spaced out. Now let's go back to our alignment tools. Now I'm going to horizontally center. Now it's going to take the center of each of these horizontally and align them. So there they are, right on top of each other, all their centers. Now let's come here and let's do them vertical centers. So now all their vertical centers have aligned. Now let's come here and let's say, I want to center to rulers. Now let's move these apart so you can understand this. There we go. Now, I'm going to come on up here again and select them all. And actually, I think, well, we'll, we'll do it this way for right now and see how it looks. Okay, we're going to come in here. Now, these two are kind of confusing if you don't really understand. Now, align center to rulers. You can see these are my rulers, zero, zero, you see my rulers. So let's center to ruler. Now notice they all centered to zero, zero. They see this because since I had them all selected, they see it as one design and it's centered zero, zero. So you understand it has centered it in the hoop or centered it on your screen. Now that's center to rulers. But now, what if I want to center two objects? And, and I'm not going to use these arrows because I want to make it real clear. Let's go ahead and get a new piece of paper. I'm going to get me a square. Well, and I'm going to turn it into a fill. Now I'm going to come right back up and let me get a circle. See, and I didn't select it. Do you notice my cursor doesn't have a circle on it? So when I go to draw, there's nothing to draw. So I did not get it selected. So now let me select that. Now notice I've got, well I had, I've got a circle stuck or an ellipse stuck to my cursor. So I'm going to draw me a circle here. And I'm going to change the color of it. And I'm going to go ahead and make it a fill as well. Now, if I take these and I select them both, we're going to go up here and select them, and I'm going to tell this, we're going to center to rulers. You see it took the two objects and it centered it to the ruler. 
So now this is these two objects are in the center of the page. But now if I take those same two objects and say center selected objects, I want center center. So now watch. When I do that, it has centered my circle on top of my square. And this is confusing to some people because we a lot of times we've never seen center to rulers. We're used to center selected objects, but we're not used to center to rulers. So now we've got center to rulers, and we have center center of our selected objects. So that kind of talks about our alignment tools, our distribute horizontally, distribute vertically, and what all of our alignment tools mean. And these are wonderful tools to have. A lot of times you'll want to center everything to the left edge if you're trying to draw something or everything to the right edge. This makes it very, very easy. If I had a bunch of flowers, and we'll pretend these are flowers. Let me get my, this is just a run stitch. So here's a flower. Here's a flower. Here's a flower. These are all their stems. Now, I've got these flowers, but I want them to all, the bottoms to all align to, so I can put them in the ground. I can put grass in front of them or whatever. So I would come here, and I would say align the bottoms. So now all the bottom edges are aligned. So now if I want to put those on the edge of a pillowcase or something, the edges are all going to be perfect. So to have these alignment tools is a wonderful tool if you understand how they all work. And the thing I really like about them is sometimes we just get confused. So if I just put my cursor, it'll say these are to left align, these are right align, here's your top, here's your bottom. Now I'm going to do the horizontal center align. Now I'm going to come in here and do the vertical center align. So you get the idea that what the alignment tools are for and how important they are. Sometimes you want to center words, a word in the middle of a, of a block or something. You're going to use your alignment tools. If I want to distribute the buttonholes, I'm going to use my horizontal and vertical. So I can come in here and do them, distribute them horizontally or vertically, nice and even within the space base I've got. So by having those tools, it makes our lives a lot easier when we're working in our software. That is our lesson for this week is all about our tools. I look forward to seeing you again next week and I hope I see you on the webinar. We have a webinar starting at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. If you have not registered, get registered so that you can see the webinar tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you next week. I hope you have a great week.